Hey there, it's Amanda with the Pretty House team and with Palm Harbor Coastal Living. And I am coming to you today to talk about the roof. The roof, the roof, the roof. I have gotten so many questions about roofs this week that I thought, you know what? Let's just talk about roofs. And I thought the drifters would be a nice way to introduce us. He gets away from the hustling crowd up on the roof. <clears throat> that seems a little dangerous now that I'm listening to the lyrics. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm going to stop that. The drifter's not the way to go. I do not recommend climbing up on your roof. That's a terrible idea. Although I'm all, I think my mom did it when she was in high school to sneak cigarettes so my grandma wouldn't beat her. Anyway. That's not what I'm coming to you live for today. So <clears throat> I had three or four different people send me questions about their roofs and when to replace a roof. They're thinking about selling their house. The roof's kind of old, what to do. So I wanted to talk to you about your roof and when you should replace it if you're thinking of coming to market, when you shouldn't replace it if you're thinking of coming to market and just a whole bunch about roofs. Okay, so roofs don't last as long as they should in Florida. I think we all know that. We all see how quickly roofs turn. And I mean, basically it's because it's hot here and the sun beats down on the roofs harder than say in the Northeast. So the average 30 year shingle, probably not gonna last you 30 years. So when you go to list your house, if your roof is older, you should probably have a conversation with your realtor before you put it on the market. So there's a couple of things to consider. One, how old is the roof? So if the roof is 25 years old or even like 20 years old or older, you may have a bigger issue. Even if it's not leaking, you may have a big issue on getting it insured. So what does that mean? Let me get comfortable. So when buyers come to buy your house, most of them will be financed. Yes, there's cash buyers in the world, but the market over the $400,000 price point is typically a financed buyer. So when a buyer comes to purchase your home, if they're getting a mortgage, they will have to be able to get homeowner's insurance on that. If the roof is not insurable, then they can't get insurance. If they can't get insurance, then they can't get a mortgage. Now, how do you figure out if a non-leaking roof that's older is gonna be insurable? So there is a report that will be done when the house goes under contract. Um, it's, it's like a weird shadow. It's called a four point and a win mitigation report. The buyer will pay for that to be done. However, if you're really concerned about the age of your roof, you can do one on your own. I mean, you can pay a couple hundred bucks, have an inspector come out, and might as well have him do a four point and a win mitt, and he will show you all the systems in your house that might have insurability issues, and he'll also look at the roof. An insurance company, most are going to want the report to say that there's five years of life left. So you'll need five years of life left in order to get insurance on the, on the roof. If you can't find somebody, if, if the report doesn't say that, some insurance companies will allow three, but anything less than that, the house isn't gonna be insurable. So that's something to consider when you're thinking about, okay, we wanna sell the house, the roof's really, really old. It, it might not matter if it's not leaking. If it's too old and you can't get insurance, then you're gonna have an issue. Um, if you do go ahead and get the four point and the wind mitt, hold on to it, give it to your realtor so she can make a copy so that she can then provide that to buyers that are interested in the home. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So the next thing you're gonna think about, let's say that it's not in the like 18 to 25 year old. Let's say it's only like 13 years old, but that's still kind of older. If your roof is over like 13 years old, is it leaking? If it's not leaking, I often fall into the mindset of, it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Because that's expensive and there's gonna be other expenses you're going to incur along the process of selling the house. So if you just have an older roof and it's still insurable, but it's not actively leaking, I would probably fall into the, don't burn that money. Because if you burn that money, you'll be upset when the buyers want to negotiate on other things. And you're like, but I put a new roof on. And they're like, I don't care. My brother Jimmy owns a roofing company and I can get a roof for cheap. So you see how that slippery slope, I mean, they've got an Uncle Jimmy. <clears throat> okay, so we talked about how old it is and the insurability issues. We talked about if it's leaking. Has it already been repaired? So that's something to think about. So if you have a roof that's older, but you've never had a leak, you might be fine. But if you had like eight or nine patch jobs, or if like 70% of the roof was replaced and the other part is now leaking, 
I mean, use common sense on that, but if most of the roof has been replaced and the part that hasn't been replaced is currently leaking, you're probably gonna have an issue with the buyer. And listen, if you already know something is leaking, in the attic, there could be mold and mildew. Just, just use common sense, okay? If you decide, I don't care, it's an old roof. I don't care and, I don't, and I'm not gonna fix it. It's old, it's leaking, I'm not gonna fix it. Then you need to be prepared for a couple of things. What are you going to do when a buyer puts an offer on the house, gets it under contract, goes through the inspections, and then it gets flagged because it's not insurable? Are you then gonna fix it? Because if not, you're gonna have a very upset buyer and you're probably gonna be pretty upset because at that point you're gonna be vested in the course that you've traveled down to sell the house. You're probably gonna find your new place and you're gonna be upset with yourself that now you're in this pickle. Also, if you decide at the beginning that you're not gonna replace your roof, and so you price the house kind of aggressively, and then four weeks later when you're under contract, all of a sudden you've priced the house aggressively and now you have to put on a new roof, that is also gonna be disappointing. And it might be a deal breaker for you. It might be a deal breaker for you and the buyer. The fourth thing to consider when you have an older roof and you decide that you're not gonna replace it and you're not gonna let it be a negotiating point is do you have the money to replace the roof when it starts to fail? Because if you don't, if you're like, I I'll just stay, if you don't and that roof starts leaking a lot, you're going to have issues and you're going to have to replace it. So if you don't have that money, then you need to sort of have the foresight to decide how you wanna handle that situation now. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Mm, sorry guys, allergies and a cold, like it's a perfect storm. Um, so that's my little chit chat about roofs. If you have an old roof and you're not gonna fix it, be prepared to have it be a negotiating point if it's insurable when you get an offer on the property. Because that is always something that a buyer's agent's gonna hammer you on is you've got an old roof. But if you replace it, also know that they're still gonna try to negotiate with you because that is a buyer's agent, a buyer's agent job is to negotiate. So make sure that you have a listing agent representing you and your best interest and negotiating hard for you on that end. Okay, so if you have any more questions about the roof, I always provide my notes if you have questions. If you want an, a phone number or two of a couple of inspectors that I recommend for four point and wind mitigation reports, they'll come out and tell you if the roof's insurable so you can kind of make an educated decision on how to move forward based on the roof age. Happy to provide you with that as well. I hope this makes sense because this week with the roofs, all the roofing questions that I'm getting in emails and private messages and Facebook, and it seems like roofs are, are becoming like a big issue right now. And I think it's because we've had torrential amounts of rain and now all of a sudden people are starting to see the spotting on the drywall and they're finding the leaks. And so it's it can be a big decision maker for you. So those are my points on roofs. I hope you guys have a great day. I am Amanda with the Pretty House team and obviously with Palm Harbor Coastal Living. Bye guys.